What is up, everyone, and welcome back to just the game that you've been waiting for. Welcome to 31 Days of Hell. That's right. Every day this month of October, there is going to be an upload, whether it's a video or a live stream, every single day. So I'll be ready for this. We're starting with Resident Evil Village walkthrough um, because I haven't played this game in a while, and I, I know it's really fancy playing it after playing RE4 Remake quite a lot. I know a lot of you want to see Code Veronica as well, but that will have to be streamed because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so after the evil event, when I finish with that, we'll be doing Code Veronica. And I've got other stuff planned as well. So fingers crossed it all goes to plan. Um, I haven't got any other new types of horror games, unfortunately. If anyone wants to see a different type of horror game, then feel free to donate to me. PayPal will be in the description. And tell me what game you want me to buy and try because I'm not rich. I, I can't afford it. Fuck me right. <laughs> right, so let's get in. <clears throat> um, okay, we're going to do a brand new game. It's going to be a hardcore walkthrough. Um, how it's intended, which is first person. So let's get straight in. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark, yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. With the creepy story, she's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. 
All right, before we get into this, guys, don't forget to smack the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Also, subscribe if you're new to stay up to date with all the content on the channel. Going to be plenty more walkthroughs coming. <clears throat> Let's get straight in. Obviously, you can explore or do whatever if you haven't played the game already. I've it's never examined that. Beautiful. Okay. But yeah, first thing to do is take Rose to bed. They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. It's, they're going to be like movie walkthroughs. I don't want to interrupt any cutscenes. As long as I can remember where they all are. Almost there, honey. And dialogue and stuff. Go on, any little baby. Let's get you to bed. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Well, my ear is itchy. All right, you sleep there for a bit. Good times. Let's a go. Oh yeah. The fuck is that? They couldn't have paid much for that, surely. Mia. Is she okay? Sleeping like a uh, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's going to be... Seriously? think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! 
You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not walking around with the walk Fuck. What the hell happened to you? And there we go. <clears throat> so. Chris and his men have taken Rose. Um, we was in there, but then something happened. Turned us over. And now we are here. As slow as you like. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be difficult not clearing my throat during the cutscenes. <laughs> Making our way through the snowy mountain, down into the village. Where there are lichens ready to eat my soul. Right, let's, how do you bend down? There we go. Nice. Yeah, if you didn't know the story of Ethan Winters already, then he takes, he takes a lot of his. Oh shit. <clears throat> we can hear growling. Maybe it's my stomach. Don't know, I can't see it. Oh, my battery's low, that's not good. That's why it should last for this video. Right, turn down your volume or close your ears if you know what's about to come. It's so loud. Unnecessary loud. I get it. It's supposed to scare you. Oh, what was that? <clears throat> it's the first lichen you see. All right, cool. Cross this little bridge here. <clears throat> All right, head to the house. Boom. Nice. So far, so good. No action yet. Will there be any action in this episode? I don't know. No point opening a drawer or doing a tap because it's just, there's nothing to get from it. Let's make your way down to the basement. <clears throat> Excuse me. See these boards are about full. There you go. Revealing the crest or symbol or whatever. Ah, it's a rat. <laughs> Who's in my house? Mr. Rex. Dun dun dun. Alright. <clears throat> At least we can actually see what we're doing now. Let's go. Let's go. 
Now one of the most amazing views in any RE game. Hell am I? Ethan Winters, welcome to your destiny. Looks so good to soak it in, boys. Man. <clears throat> Been a while since I played this. Horse. Okay, well. Nothing at the moment. Good times. Now you can head in there and you can explore. And stuff. You can see the horse has been dragged to the steps there. But there's nothing to get here. If you get a lockpick later, you can open that. Get some ammo. Oh, mysterious. Later on, there will be a pick in here you can kill. Also, there is, I think, shotgun shells up there. But again, need to wait until you've got a weapon. Crows. We'll be going back there later to get the second handgun of the game. My favourite handgun, actually. <clears throat> you can find one of Rose's stuffed animals in that dilapidated house. If you want to have a look at it, I don't know. But now we will go through the Valley of Goatheads. <laughs> Fucking chickens. Ooh. And now unfortunately they're, they're actually the same models as the ones in RE4 Remake. That's cool. Exactly the same to every detail. But these don't drop eggs. You kill them to harvest their meat instead. Which is good. Ooh, box. So, grab this knife. We now have a weapon, boys. I will get used to this. I forgot you can guard in this game. Right. There we go. Alright, enough guys doing it. Apart from examining this for another cutscene and to be shot by old man Jenkins. Yeah! Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! More. Yeah, so good. We got grabbed by a lichen. The old man's dead. And this is obviously where I guess their food supply is. Because, <clears throat> you know, I'm, well, then again, why is there so many? It's not like lichens have to hibernate or anything. They're not animals, they're just <clears throat> mutated freaks. Okay, cool. So we have a handgun now. And we have a knife. <clears throat> Excuse me clearing my throat. I have acid reflux. So, yeah, sucks to be me. Ah, <laughs> yeah, right. Let's get our fingers bitten off. Jesus Christ. wrong with this place
it's best to avoid this lycan. Just go in there, get the bolt cutters, and boom, he will despawn. Unless you, you can activate a very rare bug in the game where you get the bolt cutters and the lycan is still here. And then you go into that house and then he disappears. That's happened to me once when I was streaming, I think. Like a couple years ago. But maybe that's patched and fixed now, I don't know. But go in there, grab the chem fluid and the green herb. Yum, yum, yum. Don't want to lose any bullets or health on him. Um, so as you can see, we've got a nice crafting system here, which does come in handy. We've already got a hill, so I'm not going to make one just yet. And also you need two of each of those to make more ammo. So for now... bolt cutters and make our way through the game oh spaghetti i don't know why i said spaghetti for okay enough guys to do so you might just come in here close the door pull this across although it doesn't really matter because you're only it's only scripted for you to kill one lycan in his in this building that Disconnects itself when you walk up to it. Freaky, huh? Grab the handgun ammo. Ooh, blood. Another chem fluid. And uh, be careful, because if you get if you go straight to the table, you will get hit. <clears throat> so let's go, then step back. Right, now you can take it. Fifteen handgun, that's a good amount. Now, I do not recommend, especially on Hardcore, to use your knife against this Lycan you're about to witness because they can be very agile and unpredictable in hitting you. And on Hardcore mode, you don't take too much damage. But anyway, if you head to the window, turn around, and then he will spawn. Make sure you guard them, punch him back. Headshots are best, obviously. But if you can't get headshots, don't worry about it. They do take quite a bit. We've got him. Nice. Drop some Lee, which is the currency in this game for the merchant, aka the Duke. Now we can pull that back across. Is it over? Far from it, Ethan Winters. Far fucking from it. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? So Louise's house is where we need to head to next. Bearing caution, I'm not going to worry about it. Come out of here, turn left. Never mind the lichens, you can see. They don't start coming after you until you go in the house. Good. More hanging ammo. Prepare to shit yourself. Right. Gunpowder. More handgun. A herb. Damn it. Now here, every time they go to hit the thing, you can shoot. Gunpowder. The longer you hold them off here, obviously there's like a four minute timer until the cutscene. You just have to survive until the cutscene, basically. No end to them. Good, that's what we want to hear. Um, 
My guy disappeared. They can't come from behind you. So you can just chill. It's even better is if they're kind of stuck there, that's kind of good for us. I'll probably cut it out unless something interesting happens. Right, I think it's been long enough. So you have to move to trigger it. There we go. Nice, there we go. As we saw, that's the easiest and effective way to not take any damage or anything like that. Um, that's what I recommend doing. Only works on assisted standard and hardcore mode because on Village of Shadows, you run out of ammo and they don't seem to get stuck. So you just have to run around. But there's a different strat to that, which maybe one day I'll do if enough people want to see it. You can always run in here, use an explosive barrel, go up the ladder, jump down, do a loop, and just keep repeating the process. But the way I did it, I think, is the easiest way. Right. Now we can loot <clears throat> everywhere that we didn't get the stuff. Always make sure to reload. You don't know what's coming up. Good, good, good. Don't do what I just did. I forgot that was the button to heal. Like I said, it's been a while since I played. But, you know, in caution, yeah, why not? It'll be fine. We do have a shotgun now, though, which is nice. Um, I've got plenty of them, so I am going to make another one. This is hardcore modes. Always make sure you've got at least one, maybe two heals. Right, come in here. Grab the scrap. Good times. Whoa. Walking into the wall, man. Two lots of scrap. Got the ladder. Because we nearly got these items, but obviously the timer ran out. Ten more handgun. That's what I'm talking about. Gunpowder. Flower. You can always use your knife. And that acts like a flash grenade, basically, in the other resis. Stuns the enemies for a bit. Sometimes, you never know, if you if the big guy, who's called Urias, if he smacked any lichens and killed them, then he would, um, there would be items lying around. But by the looks of it, he didn't really kill any of them. So, don't have to worry about that. Enough girls over there to grab. We are good to move on. 
and talk to this old fucking hag. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? Now, what's cool about this is if you come over here. If you can see. You can't really see, can you? <clears throat> Maybe it is through here, you can see, I don't know. Okay, you can't now. But when the doors are shut, if you look, you can see the old hag walking down. Which in most games, obviously, they just make the character despawn. So it's a nice little touch. You know, come in this house, be careful if you're in Village of Shadows, because there will be a Lycan in here. He will chew your shit up if you're not careful. Feel free to grab files and read them. Right, some hidden money there. Need another lockpick for there. Oh, I can go back out. Now, I didn't realise this to lock my second or third playthrough, but hidden here is some gunpowder. Blends right in. Right, it's more scrap over here. And we can go down there later. Feel free to shoot the crows if you want to. They do drop money. Might not have seen worth it. Okay, just three crows for now. Nice treasure up here as well. Good, good. So we can sell that shit. If it's your first time playing, there will be goat a goat there you can slash. Uh, which is um just like collect balls for an achievement or trophy or whatever. <clears throat> All the money adds up. Now, later on, there will be a bluebird up on this branch you can shoot, which is rare, um, some rare poultry or whatever it is, which you need for the Duke to get upgrades and abilities for Ethan, which you need, especially on Hardcore. Good. More scrap. That's it over here for now. Now, I don't remember all the locations of the goats. Obviously, I did it my first playthrough over like two and a half years ago. But I, I will I will mention the ones I remember, if I do remember. And there is another goat up on the roof on the other side of the house. Another crystal fragment. Key item. Another file there. Now... You can feel free to save there if you want as well. <clears throat> Coming through later once you get the iron key, which I recommend because there is a green herb in there, some chickens for poultry, and also another crystal fragment. Um, we've got to wait to do the well. Good times. Now over here, gunpowder, and there is three lichens hiding away in there. Now I am going to try and kill all enemies if possible. If you're if you're worried about it, you can trigger them. Come over, block the door. You've got the flower, two sacks of flowers. Well, loads of sacks of flowers, but you know what I mean. Don't worry about him, he's not going to come in. Just another one of those little scares that Capcom tried to do. More handgun. A fucking mine, which is insane. Do not waste it this early in the game. It's not worth it. And if you come straight over here, try and 
can't actually trigger anyone. Alright, do that. Some more scrap. Some more shells. I want to move that, thank you. And I like my knife to be on the bottom. Okay, we're doing good on shotgun shells. We're doing good on handgun. Um, look at that. We can make a bunch more handgun if we need to. We probably will do that. <clears throat> just because. I will try and kill most things in the game. So we are going to try and kill all three lichens. <clears throat> right, first of all, if you come stick to the wall, so to speak, and come straight over here, get some more scrap. I recommend trying to trigger one lichen at least and bringing them back down there. First one is over here somewhere. Now he's going to follow you. Don't panic if you get hit. It's all fine. Now that, don't do. I just wanted to show you not how, you know, don't use your knife. Because it is too risky to use your knife. It really is. They're just too chaotic and they're bullet sponges. So don't do that. Yes, they can be quite difficult to take on on hardcore mode. But like I said, this is, this is a walkthrough to show you where everything is, how to do certain things, what to do, what not to do. So as you know here, with lichens, do not use your knife. And also, um, don't kill the enemies here because you can loot the area once you're done. To save ammo, which is what I recommend you do. But, you know, I just wanted to show what you should do in this circumstance, so to speak. So, actually, thinking about it, I should have saved. Because I wanted to show you what it looked like to, to kill them and have to use everything you have. But because I've done that and I didn't save, I can't actually restart and not do this part. It's fine. We'll make do. We'll make do. I'm acting as if this is like my first time playing. 
There's some scrap to grab over here as well. And then, yeah, that's it for now. Then there's quite a few cutscenes coming up. But that's where I'm going to have to end it, guys, I think. So. Next time, going to be heading into Louisa's house. And then trying to find out exactly what the fuck is going on here. But until then, take care, stay safe, peace.